We're unabashed fans of the Lexus LC. With its silky smooth and powerful 471 horsepower V8 engine, concept car inspired design, and luxurious, meticulously crafted interior, it makes a compelling case as the finest grand touring car on the market in 2024. Especially now that Lexus has addressed its one notable flaw, the only issue we had with it. We had the chance to drive a V8 Lexus LC convertible for some blue sky cruising during the perfect time of year in California. Before diving in, it's important to note that the Lexus LC was never intended to be an outright performance car. This means the convertible version should get very close to perfection as a cruiser. But did it meet our expectations? Exterior, just as stunning with the top down. Some cars rely on their roof to complete their design, but the LC's proportions and design elements make it equally striking as a convertible. Much has been said about the LC's concept car roots, and even seven years after its debut, it remains fresh with its long hood, elongated doors, and low, wide stance. In our eyes, it's both gorgeous and timeless. The convertible roof is a four-layer soft top, designed for sound dampening while remaining compact when stored, a critical feature given the already limited trunk space, with rear seats often serving as extra cargo room. The drop-top LC retains the dimensions of its coupe sibling, though it's slightly taller due to the retractable roof and weighs about 200 pounds more. The LC convertible looks great in most paint colors, with flare yellow drawing plenty of attention. However, the cloudburst gray of our test car was a perfect match, enhancing the elegant, classy vibe Lexus infused into this convertible. Interior, modern craftsmanship. Technically, the Lexus LC is a four-seater, but only in name. The rear seats are practically unusable due to the lack of legroom, making them suitable only in a pinch. Even then, you'll need to ensure that a shorter person sits in front of another short person. Realistically, the best use for those back seats is to compensate for the limited trunk space by stashing a purse or laptop bag there. The coupe version of the Lexus LC already has tight rear headroom and legroom, and the convertible offers even less. Cargo space also drops from 5.4 cubic feet in the coupe to under 3.5 cubic feet in the convertible, just to put it in perspective. Space limitations aside, the rest of the LC's interior is both luxurious and comfortable. The seats strike a perfect balance, neither overpadded nor excessively bolstered, and the overall design and materials are exceptional. Despite the car's low profile, the long doors make it easy to get in and out. The seat ventilation is impressive, and the convertible adds a neck-warming vent to keep you cozy on cooler days. Onboard tech and features. Our test vehicle was a bespoke build, a $5,500 upgrade over the standard model, allowing customers to customize details like wheels, spoiler, roof, and exterior trim, as well as interior finishes and colors. Our test car featured a blue and white interior, which added another $1,900 to the price. While color preferences are subjective, we lean towards a more understated interior letting the quality of the materials and design speak for themselves. We also wouldn't need a certificate of authenticity to justify spending $5,500 on extra options. Lexus has addressed the LC's most significant issue, apart from the nearly useless rear seats, which are an unfortunate necessity in this segment. The awkward trackpad in the center console for controlling the infotainment system has been replaced by a more intuitive metal wheel and click system. The 12.3-inch touchscreen is also responsive and easy to use, with menus that are no longer frustrating to navigate. For those who prefer not to use the wheel or touchscreen, Lexus's voice control is capable enough to handle basic tasks without requiring you to take your hands off the wheel. Apple CarPlay and Android are, rightfully, standard, and our tester arrived with the Mark Levinson sound system, which we're still on the fence about as a $1,220 upgrade. If you're a music lover, you'll have to hear it to make the call. Under the hood, a jewel and a crown. Lexus's 5.0 liter V8 is simply superb. If you're looking for something very fiery, this isn't it. But if you're looking for a wealth of smooth, consistently delivered power and an exhaust note that could inspire poetry, this is it. There's 471 horsepower and 398 LBFT of torque available 
and 0 to 60 miles per hour comes in 4.6 seconds, two tenths slower than its coupe siblings. Let's be clear here. The LC might not be fiery, but it's fast, and the active exhausts add an incredibly satisfying throaty soundtrack to an overtaking maneuver. Handling the power is a 10-speed automatic transmission with the option of using paddle shifters to control it. It's a seamlessly smooth transmission 99.9% .9 of the time, with firm, authoritative shifts when in sport mode. Of course, power goes to rear wheels, and a top speed of 168 miles per hour is possible. Fuel economy isn't great, but what did you expect from a V8? The EPA rates the Japanese drop top at 15 slash 25 slash 18 mpg on the city slash highway slash combined cycles. On the road, a lot of wind in your hair. We couldn't discern a difference in interior noise levels between the soft top and the metal roof. There is absolutely no downside when the roof is up on the LC convertible. But folding down the roof brought some disappointment. It became hard to have a conversation due to the noise as the air pushed its way around inside, enough to override the warm air vents in the seats. Of course, all convertibles are going to have air swirling around, but you can hold a conversation using inside voices and not freeze to death from wind chill in the middle of winter in a Mazda MX-5 with the top down. We've been there and done that. Yet, in the LC convertible, we found ourselves putting the roof up before the sun dropped on a balmy day. Compared to a much more direct rival, the older Mercedes-Benz SL directs air around better when it comes to noise and buffeting, particularly noise. We concluded that dropping the roof of the LC is for when cruising at lower speeds, as in around 45 miles per hour and lower. Or when you want to hear that exhaust sing, like the interior, though if you can deal with it because the rest of the experience is superb. The ride comfort level from the adaptive variable suspension. Despite being on 21-inch wheels, summer tires the thickness of two rubber bands defies the physics. Sports car aficionados will continue to complain about a lack of steering feel. But in reality, the steering is quick, direct, and not too light or too heavy, even in sport mode, where it's artificially weighted up. It's relentlessly fast in a straight line, then cruises at any speed you like with a complete lack of effort. While it's not an outright sports car, and the LC has some weight on it before adding motors for the folding roof, it is fun to poke around on a back road. Despite the suspension stiffening up in sport mode, it's not as agile as a Porsche 911, and the brakes certainly don't grab as hard, but it's fun to push through a corner and holds its own through corners. We were expecting a better experience from the convertible with the roof down, but it doesn't rate quite as high as some rivals we've driven. It's a grand tour, so you should be comfortable putting the roof down over a long distance without asking your passenger if it bothers them.